board hello everyone on youtube hbj here and welcome to session nine session 11 of pokemon live pokemon leaf green live stream and we uh are going to be doing some training we're going to be doing some legendary catching and we got a whole bunch more to add to the session oh okay it's starting to bug so i do apologize i don't know why it's bugging um maybe because i'm on twitch and stuff maybe that's it oh no it's probably my controller okay well um anyway we are here um today to get things oh, hold on one second Okay, so yes, welcome to um, session nine. So for session nine, uh, we are going to be doing, like I said, legendary catching, trading, uh, training, not trading, training, and getting ready for the next uh, milestone for generation one. And that is of course the Elite Four in the Kanto region. Uh, Cause if you guys were not here for the last session, I have now gotten all eight. Of my Kanto badges Boulder, Cascade, Thunder, Rainbow, Soul, Moon, Volcano, Volcano, and Earth Badge. Yeah, I have all eight of the Kanto badges. So we have we have defeated Gym Leaders Brock, Misty, Surge, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, Blaine, and Giovanni. At this point in time, you are able to travel to the... Hold on, because I need the proper map. Um, you are able to travel to the Indigo Plateau in Victory Road. Um, but we can also do some other things. Um, we have some areas we need to go explore. And those areas are the Power Plant. Um, they are between... They are near Rock Tunnel Route 10. Uh, we also have Sea Foam Islands here on Route 20 we need to explore. And we need to go back to Mount Ember to do some things there. So the reason is because we have to go get legendaries. Uh, the legendaries of the Kanto region. So, I also want to make this a note now. Please do not ask if I'm going to... No, I'm going to do say this now because I know people are going to ask about this anyway. If anybody actually wants to care, um, I will not be doing the legendary catching for Pokemon that are not in the actual game. I think there's maybe one or two of them post game, and I want to say I know it's Mewtwo post game, but the other is, um, I think it's depending on who your starter is you'll be able to encounter one of the legendary beasts from the Johto region. And I want to say mine is going to be Entei, because I started with um, Bulbasaur, because fire beats grass. Um, water's connection to electricity, because electricity beats water, and then water beats fire. So if you're playing with Char Charmander as your starter, Suicune is the legendary you'll be getting from Generation two and if you're playing with squirtle you'll get raiko who's the legendary from generation two as well um whose significance is only because they are interacting with um some stuff that goes on later in later games um that's why i, I wanted to pay mention to it now um so yeah if that anyone was going to ask what's going to go on with legendaries and stuff like that there's your answer right there um, I will only be catching the legendaries that I'm able to catch within the game's uh, dynamics. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying to do enough of that. Um, if anything, just to make sure that I have access. Because I'm trying to keep it as pure as possible. Keywords here as pure. Because um, otherwise I slap a whole bunch of rare candies. We'll go up to the, um, we'll go back over there to Pewter. I mean, not Pewter. We'll go through, um, Victory Road and go slap the Elite Four a couple of times. Uh, I guess to get it out the way, we can go... 
because to get to see to do the sea farm stuff i'm going to need yeah let's do sea farm and get that out of the way since that is the first bird we saw um so the legendary trio of generation three uh, generation one uh articuno moltres and zapdos the legendary birds um i need strength to do this puzzle um and i already have surf because darby has surf attached um, as her move. But the legendary birds here in the Kanto region, um, Zapdos, the electric Pokemon, uh, Articuno, the ice Pokemon, and Moltres, the flame Pokemon. I'm trying to remember who has strength. I might have to teach someone strength. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing legendary catching. The thing about legendary Pokemon is that they're they're not as prominently there in Kanto as they are in other regions. Like, the game doesn't stop for you to say, Hey, you need to catch this legendary, like, right now. Or, this legendary is part of the main story. Um, go get it. So, because of this, it's not something you relatively need to look into during the post-games or whatever section of the game that you want to go catch the legendaries in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I'm trying to think, who the hell can I use to do this? Um, I, cause I have my Pokemon. I guess a Brawlway would be fine, just so I can have access to it. Uh, Poliwhirl. Should be able to learn Strength? If not, I'm gonna have to go get Rhyhorn. Right um, but yeah, they're not prominent to the story. Um, they're Shoot, I mean, they can even be post-game if you wanted to take advantage of that. Uh, oh, good. Okay, he can learn. Strength. Um, Eddie, power move, 100% accuracy. Um, able to use your full strength to his maximum power. It can also cause boulders to move. Uh, and we're going to be definitely taking advantage of this. Because um, we're going to need Poliwhirl to help us get through um, where we're going to later on, which of course is dealing with DC Foam Island. I actually can do something right now, since I have Polly World on the party, I can add another Pokemon to my Pokedex entry, um, instead of having to wait. We can go back to Celadon, and we can evolve Polly World into Polly Rat. Um, since this is generation one, we have access to buying stone, well, evolution stones here in the Kanto region. Um, even funnier, we can buy them from Celadon in the department store. I believe it is floor five we can go to, and it will have uh, the evolution stones. And we can actually do this to evolve Pokemon in the region, or Pokemon from other regions if we decide to bring them to the game, and we can evolve them through stone. No, I am in the wrong area. Okay, so we need to go down one. Why did that not surprise me? Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna be encountering the legendary birds through this adventure. Um, my history with the legendary birds is that I've only used one. And the only reason why I used that one was because I need an electric type on the team, and he had the stats to cover it. Uh, I'm about to sell the water stone I just bought for half the price. Um, so yeah, it is a lot that happens um, with the legendary trio. Uh, before I get even further, hello Poliwhirl. Uh, and actually this is the first time I've ever actually done the Poliwhirl thing um, for this gen. I actually don't even know what it looks like. Oh yeah, okay. That actually didn't surprise me. But, yeah, hello, Poliwhirl. So, yeah, Poliwhirl is the evolved form of Poliwag. If I don't, one or two evolutions for Poliwag. Um, it requires a water stone, offers evolution for the world. Uh, water fighting has depth visibility, meaning that it prevents Pokemon who use moves like self-destruct um, and explosion. Uh, hypnosis, water gun, strength, and... Um, Rain Dance. I think that's not too bad of a new set right there. Because we're just playing a casual game Pokemon. But, um, yeah, for the most part, uh, we're going to be rock 
we're going to be using Poliwhirl to help us get to um, Seafoam Island and getting through Seafoam Island. Because getting through Seafoam Island is the trouble. <laughs> it isn't getting there. It's getting through it. Because the area that we need to get through, we have to do things on both sides of its entry point. So to enter the Seafoam Island, we must get there from two, two ends. Um, getting there from here, hold on, because map. Um, so, using time map, we can get to see foam from two sides. We can enter through routes 19 to 20, or we can go to, Cel I mean, to Cinnabar and go from route 20. The thing is that each entry point has a connection, but we have to do a lot to get to that connection. If we're playing yellow version, there will be a house here for the Pikachu Surf mini game, in which your Pikachu can surf or fly with balloons. Um, and I think also that requires Pikachu to learn the move. Will teach Pikachu the move, surf and fly. Because in Generation Eight, let's go even Pikachu. Pikachu can learn both an electric and a flying type move to cope with its weaknesses and resistances. Otherwise, we're here just taking on these swimmers. I believe these swimmers are also in Gen 1 as well. But um, yeah, the legendary farming can convince. Uh, even if we don't catch the legendary, I at least want to make an access point to getting to them. Two out of three are going to be easy to get. The other one's going to be a pain in the ass. The pain in the ass is most likely going to be Moltres. Um, because we have to go back to the, the Tri-Island, of the Savvy Island, to go get Moltres. Yeah, they moved Moltres in Gen 3's remake. Because, well, they have Volcano, and we can put Volcanic Pokemon there. Too bad most of the fire types you're gonna get are post- are really in the entry, and by the time you need to get to a fire type Pokemon, um, you're kinda already beating Erica. And the only other ice, only thing you'll need to cover is ice in the Elite Four. And at even then, you'll have access to stuff like fighting and electric. Because Generation 1's lineups are still pretty stupid. Just their movesets have changed. Uh, some better than others. But, uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna be taking our routes to Seafoam because we need to start doing Seafoam. And. They're not going to be easy, which is why I think we're going to put a lot of two on the move strength. Um, in his move set. Hi, horsey. Yeah, also, we're going to be facing a lot of water type trainers, so if you have any electric or grass types in your party, um, definitely take them with you because this is where your chance to shine. Venusaur at this point is going to be great if you decide to actually not curve and dodge most of the. Swimmers, Fishers, Swimmer Girls, and then Brother and Sister Duo um, on your way to Cinnabar and to Seafoam. Because you can't get to Cinnabar through Seafoam. Generation 2 original cuts that off. You can't get to Seafoam. Um, oh, you can get to Seafoam. But you can't get to Fuchsia from Seafoam. They cut it off. Um, and Crystal Version. Uh, Hot Gold and Soft Silver, they bring it back and I actually fix everything. Because in that game, for those who didn't catch, who didn't play Platinum, you can catch our Snow that does a Ultra, uh, in Generation 3. We are certain the area though, we can catch them. So, yeah. Hmm. I made it early to pay homage to the things that Mr. Iwata wanted in Generation, or that they wanted in Generation 2, but Iwata had to help cut out because the games were going through a lot of issues at the time to um, really survive the full game ideas that they wanted. Because the force of Kanto in there was just because they wanted to add more filler. Mm. To a game that really just felt incomplete. And Nintendo was like, hey. Mm. 
It's been three years. Let's see what Kenzo looks like. I remember when the leaks for Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, and people wanted to know what they were going to do for post game, and they kept it original with Kanto, but they added a bit of nuances. Like, they added Gen 3 and 4 Pokemon to Rome in the Kanto region, and post your Elite 4 battle, they even added some of the um, Pokemon on your way there. Uh, we should battle some of these traders. Mm. Golden and Seeking. <laughs> I mean, it's Big Brother and Big Sister duo. So, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that um, happened in the Gen Two re in the Gen Two remake that, because of how things were, there was no limitation. You can add things. You had internet. You can do DLC. Um, you can even add the DLC to your game now. <laughs> it's using via Wi-Fi. So all the stuff that they wanted to do in Generation 2, they were able to do in Gen 2. Hold on, I want to switch some friends around. So uh Venusaur and um I say Venusaur and Charmander. Oh yeah, these four here. In the original game, uh some of these trainers weren't Swim, female swimmers, they were beauties in the water. No, I believe I think she was a beauty in the water. Um, because there were a lot of male trainers, um, that were swimmers in the original game. Because they didn't have any fine for female trainers yet, they've been in different classes. They, um, they often just put beauties in there, so it was like, oh, yeah. Here's a uh, female trainer class you have. Mm, they are stronger than the typical other female trainer class. So I think at this point, outside of maybe Laura, Lorelai, and Agatha, cool kind of females were the only thing we were going to be really facing at that point um, in gyms and stuff. If you had not already played, to that point, and uh, even then, there's not gonna be cool trainer females running around the cancel region. And if there are, they're all in victory road. And I that many, only, only a handful. Mm. So, yeah, well, I think they're gonna even this one changed it. Well, we're more female trainers back to the game. Oh yeah, also, uh, we'll be gathering tentacle. Um, uh, I need to match the power. Okay, that's who we will be encountering. Tentacle and tentacruel. Hold on, I want to switch. No. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta watch out for the bones. So many bones. Mm. Alright. Um, what's going on regularly? I don't know. Okay. Oh, this is cool, cool, and huge picture.
Really sore. I love that shit. What's that fortune with her? Oh, I'll be careful. Where's my fork? Oh, there it goes. So my chopsticks. Alright. Chicken. Right. So it's based off of salmon. Because it's his design and look. And I don't think. Is it gonna see King Oh, there it was. It was in Gen 2 there was a teaching episode. Hmm. And it's the Polywag. And Polyworld. Battle Polywag. And one of her King's Rock. Which became her Polytoad. Hmm. That's the first of the second. Doing cool Pokemon she has. I just love it with Pokemon. With Miracle, Spike Cannon, Recover, and Water Gun. Very odd combination. Hey, it works for them. Alright, well, I guess he didn't want to evolve it. Oh, well, never mind. We're already here at the. Uh, See Farm Island. Uh, talk to this kid right here. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are commonly sighted here in these parts. Yeah, we see. We faced a couple of them on the way here. Hmm. That's a mission. I want to see you in your trains here. Really? Alright, I don't need a note. Hmm. And welcome to Sea Farm Island. Uh, fun, funny enough, that was another indication of um, trainers um, informing you that the gym leaders do or potentially have other teams that they can battle you with. Now, um, I also something I wanted to know because I didn't really talk about this item 
is Fame Catcher. And the Fame Catcher has all the main and important people that you talk to in the game have information about the gym leaders. Now, um, if you go back to um, when we talked to um, we just talked to that child, he says, Stephen Island's young man, there's a rumor. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are commonly sighted here in these parts. They say that Misty of the Cerulean Gym trains here. So yeah, rumor has it that the cave is famous for a dating spot. Missy, the gym leader, is excuse me, high hopes for this place. Part of the reason why she's here in gym too. But uh, these right here are um, more people that we can encounter and talk to about Misty. So yeah, that's Misty herself, and this is the gym sign outside of Misty's gym. I believe. Almost everyone except for Blaine, uh, I mean not Blaine, Giovanni is who we talk to that will fill up the Pokedex. I mean, we'll fill up Giovanni's thing, except for his, um, I was gonna say his fan catcher. His, um, yeah, his fan catcher slot won't have a Pokemon sign because they didn't indicate him as the gym leader. Uh, we can't battle this one rogue trainer here. If we want to, um, it's because she's floating. But well, welcome to the Sea Foam Islands. There's only been a couple of occasions in the anime where we've actually seen the Sea Foam Islands. I believe one of them is May's trip in Kanto with the gang, as she was on her journey to compete in the Grand Festival for the Kanto region, and Ash was on his way to becoming a front, beating the fa the Battle Frontier. Um, she entered a contest on the Sea Foam Islands? Because that's the thing. And the Sea Foam Islands were more spacious than just these two giant basses in the anime. I think in the manga, they're more tropical based and they had Pokemon on them. But we're going to go into them because Sea Foam Islands. Welcome to the only ice dungeon in the main game. So, as you see here, we have boulders. This is live on Polyrath. Um, bring any Pokemon you know in your party or on your team that will have access to the move Strength. Um, as you can tell here, we're going to be pushing stones, boulders into, um, into the ground. The helm of the ice dungeon. Yeah, welcome to the Ice Dungeon, and I need to put another Repel on. Also, using the Viridian Forest music, um, we have to do a lot of stuff here, actually, to get around, um, the Sea Foam Islands. Because as you can tell, yeah, we gotta do a dual block pushing puzzle. Uh, the reason for this is actually what we'll see on the next floor. Um, we need to make a pathway for us to get to, um, from one side to another. The reason is because the current here is too fast for us to race. By the way, um, there's Articuno. So, what you can do is you can actually go upward and go through the area this way. Um, there are two routes we're going to be doing in this. Um, Big Pearl. You can steal this from um, Cloyster. Uh, in, well, actually, no. Shelter, because you can't cast Cloyster um, in this gen. But you can steal that off of... You have a chance of stealing that off of um, Shelter. Waterstone, if you haven't already got one from C Celadon. Uh, you can find Waterstone here in the Seafoam Island. That's the other thing that I should also indicate. The three major areas, the Seafoam Islands, the Mount Ember, and the Power Plant will all have respective stones for their respective typing. The only thing you're probably going to ask is, well, is there anything that is going to be planned for grass type? Um, we were in the Berry Forest, and I do believe the Berry Forest does have access to um, 
a way to getting the, what was it, Elise Stone. Uh, by the way, we've done it. We've now connected ourselves through the Seafoam Islands. So, um, we can go left or right. Um, and we actually can leave now to go to um, Cinnabar if we choose to. So, there's really now no need to go to the Cinnabar side. Anyway, we're going to push these boulders over here. So, we can make a way to Articuno. Um, these ways are permanent. They will not disappear the moment you leave um, the dungeon. Once you knock these boulders into the slots they're in, they are permanently fixing the area so that you, the trainer, can do what you need to do here. Um, what else is there, I should say? Oh, I guess the Pokemon in this area. Steel, Dugong, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Magikarp, Gyarados, Goldeen, Sea King, Horsey, Seedra, um, and your version exclusive, Shelter, and Cloyce, Shelter for Fire Red, and for Leaf Green, it's Staryu. Yeah, these are the areas in which you can catch water type Pokemon. Very high level water types, because I think the highest level you can find is level 40, and I think that's on Dugong. Um, so yeah, you got all these areas to get water type. If you have not gotten a water type, and you want one late game, because you can get here pretty easily before you can get to uh, Blaine. The thing is, you will need strength to make sure you can get back and forth. Um, also, another issue is that that Articuno is going to be very high level. And we're going to have to deal with it. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and take it on now. So, um, I do believe, yeah, because the boulders are right here, um, are knocked into place. Those are boulders that we've already knocked into from earlier. Um, I do advise saving the game in case you need to, and I'm gonna actually going to make a safe state in case I need to. So, yeah. Because catching legendaries are not the same as they used to be, trust me. They're not. So we're gonna do safe state here. Safe state here. Alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, with this nice remix of the of the wild battle theme for Kanto, yeah, um, the legendary trio gets their own unique version of that theme. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Articuno, the Ice Bird Pokemon. Ice Flying, level 50. Um, I believe Pressure is Articuno's ability, meaning that instead of one PP, you'll be wasting two when you're using your moves. Articuno is the first legendary to be, uh, one of the first of legendaries to be in the game. Um, you only catch one of this Pokemon in the game. As it's so high, damn high level, I would advise you to be careful because there are things you need to know about catching a legendary. Thank God that hit on the first try. Oh, it knows Ice Beam. Uh, one of Articuno's signature moves right there is Ice Beam. A 90 power, 100% accuracy ice type move has a chance of freezing its opponent. Articuno's dual typing means it has a weakness to rock types. So if you are have a rock type on the team, I would definitely advise it. Articuno's move pull from what I remember is Mist. Uh, Mind Reader, Ice Beam, and I think it has Wing Attack. Um, something to came to all of the three Legendary Birds is that they'll have a move of their particular type. They'll have a move of their Flying type. And then they will have a move to cover some defenses. Um, Articuno's here is Mist. Meaning that it's going to create a Barrier of Fog to keep the opponent from trying to reduce any of its stats. Um, oh, okay, yeah, it's gonna have a stat boosting move here, which for it, it is going to use agility to try to counteract, um, the speed of my Pokemon. But now, this is where the checking Pokeball situation begins, um, cause 
yeah, catching a legendary is not going to be easy. Um, I advise maybe having someone who has false light be high enough level to take hits, and even bringing Pokemon with you that can take the hits of the legendaries that you're trying to encounter. If you're trying to encounter Articuno, I would definitely say stay away from any Pokemon that is um, anything, anyone that has a weakness to ice. So no dragons, and no grass types. Oh, and no flying types. Um, anyone who has really good special defenses, so that you can take on a very special... Oh yeah, Mind Reader. So Mind Reader, Agility, Mist, and Ice Beam are the moves that Articuno holds here at level 50. Um, that Mind Reader is very nasty, because in later levels, Articuno gets a move known as Sheer Cold, which we did see earlier on in the live stream. Not here, but we saw it in another... We saw it in the uh, last session, where Articuno used... Where a Pokemon used Sheer Cold. Um, Sheer Cold is very nasty. Um, and yeah, it can do some pretty nasty damage. I'm gonna send out Starmie, because water can resist ice. Yeah, you have a really bulky water type, or you have a really good offensive plate water type, like Starmie, you can tank Ice Beam. Because Mind Reader is not going to do much. Agility is going to... Oh, Mind Reader is not going to do anything. Agility is not going to do anything. Um, Mist is just there to be defensive. And Ice Beam is the only attacking move that Articuno has. Mind you, Mist... I mean, Mist is on 20. Ice Beam on 15. And uh, Pokemon are going to start struggling. Yeah. They did put their claws in. Pokemon will struggle. Unlike Generation 1, where Pokemon just had... If your um, legendary or your encounter Pokemon just had infinite PP so you catch them. Not here, boys and girls. These Pokemon are definitely going to have um, limited PP. So, the mo move Mind Reader uh, was a move introduced in Generation 2. Um, it's basically that version, it's more move lock on. Um, it can basically make any move that you use hit the opponent and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, this move was actually banned um, in Generation 4 because you could find it with Sheer Cold and Sheer Cold... Because um, funny enough, I had the, um, the guide that suggested doing Mind Reader plus um, Blizzard or Sheer Cold on an Articuno. Um, so that Articuno's mind, Articuno's sheer cold, or it's a blizzard, never miss. Um, also I'm thankful that I did put Starmie in the front, and Starmie, uh, to do this. Right now Articuno is just, the AI is just fucking with me, because... Yeah, it's time to see how many Ultra Balls I can win. Ugh, I hate this so much. Just give me a damn Pokemon. It's not that hard, and there's no critical catch um, in this game. You really are on R RNG. So once I run out of Ultra Balls, I gotta go do Great Balls. And I have a little bit of Hoka Balls. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna do the um, Reload the Safe State. So I can catch Articuno. So. Yeah, we're here for the long haul, ladies and gentlemen. I also do need to heal Starling because that ice cream is coming in full force. Um, and yeah, the signature moves of each of the uh, legendary birds is, well, the respective alternate moves that you can go get from, uh, well, you can get them now from, um, the game corner. Not in Gen 1. Gen 1's game corner moves were different. They were, what is it, I think Dragon Rage, Substitute, and I want to say Hyper Beam, because you didn't buy Hyper Beam, you have to exchange for Hyper Beam. Um, and later Gen, change, well, Gen 3 changed it by having Hyper Beam um, over in the Lily Cove department store. So you can trade over from Lily Cove to here and have the Pokemon hold the TM um, because that was the thing too. TMs were able to be held as items on Pokemon, so you could just move TMs over that you needed. 
like you can go get multiple psychics from Jin, from Hoenn and move them over to Kanto because you can't buy them in Kanto, but you can buy them from Game Corner over at Hoenn. Please let me catch this. Thank you. Articuno has the pot, ladies and gentlemen. So Articuno is beta. Rare Pokemon. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. I'm a gay bird that is said to appear to do people who have, are lost in the icy mountains. Jesus! So dark is this. So in the Japanese version of Pokemon, this Pokemon is actually named Freezer. As a reference to its name being Ice. We're gonna name it Freezer. F-R-E-E-Z-E-R. You're gonna laugh when you hear what the other ones are named. Oh, you're gonna laugh because they are not named they are not named Moltres and Zapdos, uh, which I think the next one over is going to be Zapdos. Um, I have an escape from it. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's say. Oh yeah, right she's out. Um yeah we can't fly. Um I should have escape bro. Oh there it goes, escape bro. And then we gotta sell the big pearl. But um yeah, there we go. We have uh, what we needed. You have my amulet form. Why do you have my amulet form? I'm gonna take my amulet form. Oh, I think I got mine. So let me give you the amulet form. And then we're gonna fly over to Rue. No, we're gonna fly over to South to the Bar Island. Because we need to go get Rue Hill. And we need to do game. We need to say stay. Alright. And the reason why I did say stay is because I don't want to lose this Articuno. But who we're going to go check in the Pokemon Center, by the way? Um, Generation 1, if your Pokemon was caught, um, it still carried in over any statistician, HP, and moves that were used during that battle. You'd have to go to the professor, go to um nurse joy and to have her heal the freezer is relaxed nature found the sea from islands ice flying um pressure for its ability look at those stats jesus and its moves are mist agility mind reader and ice beauty mist um uh, all party all al the allied party is protected by a mist that prevents status reduction Agility, a move that relaxes and lightens its body to, sharp, to sharply boost its speed. Mind Reader, the user predicts the foe's actions to ensure its next attack hits. And I see 95 power. I'm sorry, I thought it was 90. No, it's 95 power. 100% accuracy. The foe is struck with an icy beam. It may freeze um, the foe solid. Yeah, an indication that it could potentially freeze the opponent. Um, I don't have a box for legendaries, so I guess I'm gonna have to make one. Um, wallpaper, extra seeds. Let's do the Pokemon Center. Um, eh? Stars? Yeah, stars look better. All right. So we'll have the legendaries here on the stars. While we're at it, um. Let's go sell some more items, and let's put some items up. So actually, let's go to not build CC. We're gonna go to green CC, and we're going to send off some items. We're gonna send off. Um, we're gonna send off Everstone. We're gonna send off Waterstone. We keep Big Pearl. We're gonna sell off Ice Heal. I mean, really, we can sell off all the heal items because. We can just buy four restores. So, I mean, full heal, so there's really no need for that. Now, if I need to sell all these damn um, fresh waters I bought when I was at uh, Island 2, 
our Cape Island over on the Fevy Island. Right, sell. So let's sell all these. 17. Okay. Let's sell the inmates. And of those I didn't use. Paralysis is I didn't use. Um, awakenings I didn't use. Repels that I don't need for because I have Master Colors. Uh, the Burn Heal we can sell. The Max Ocean we can sell. Um, the Ice Heal we can sell. And this Big Pearl we can sell. Alright. Other than that, let's buy some more Ultra Balls. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I don't think we can buy too many Ultra Balls. Because we are going to need Black Pro. So 16 Ultra Balls is what we can purchase. Alright. Um, if we do, we'll just run into some trainer here and here so we can get some more money. Uh, or we can do the thief trick with Kadabra. We have Kadabra steal some items. Um, by giving Kadabra weak items and like potions and stuff and switch them over. But, um, we're gonna go to Route 10, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we haven't been to Route 10 in a while. Um, what we're doing on Route 10 is we're actually gonna go to the PC. We're gonna to drop off, um, our friend Polyrath. Because we don't need strength uh, right now. And we're going to go get that trio. Uh, right. And the reason why we're getting that trio. Oh, that's about that trio. The reason why we're getting that trio. Because someone's immune to uh, electricity. That's why. Uh, um, everything else I think for the most part is going to be pretty much fine. We just have to be careful. Um, because I don't know if Static is going to do anything to Zapdos, which I don't think it is. Um, and we also have to be very careful because Zapdos will have Drill Pack on its move pool. Yeah, it's one of the three that actually has a move outside that's going to type match and do some damage. Um, I think we should be fine, um, on our way there. So, um, to get to the area where Zapdos is, we need to get to Route 10. Uh, from Route 10, you see that, that river of water. We're going to be taking this river of water. We're going to be taking it south um, to get to our next destination. Oh, the rappel is off. Let me put the rappel back up. Yeah, because you see, like, it says it too. Um, down here, and you, ironically enough, you're going to need it because uh, that trainer there, I believe, is the only other trainer in the, in the game. And she might have access to seeing Lickitung um, here. I think it's Lickitung. But, um, yeah, Pokemon Maniac uh, is here. And I think in Gen 4 he's here. But it, there's also, like, hmm, another patch of grass, too. And you also see his level a lot higher. So. Yeah. Definitely bring in the uh, Cavern. Oh, that's right. Rhymehorn doesn't have any ground type moves. Until later, level. Unless you choose some Earthquake. Oh, I feel Cat Rack too, and you just use uh, Brick Break. I should be happy though. Because that thing doesn't have a um, Lightning Rod, it would have kept him in. Oh, uh, here's Lickitung. And the first time seeing Lickitung, too. Uh, Lickitung, normal, the tongue Pokemon. Normal type. Um, it's known for using its tongue. <laughs> and its tongue is actually two times its own body weight. Yeah, crazy what the body can do, huh? Um, Lickitung in later generations gets a evolution in the name of Licky Licky. Which is just as much of a lazy design as like a tank design here. Hmm. Oh. Um, Jesse has a like a tongue. She trades it for a wobble fat. And she's not happy about it. But she loves that wobble fat. Anyway, welcome to Power Plant. Which here in Generation 1 just looks like a beat up Team Rocket base. However, later gens. Bruce's place up a bit. 
Um, well, brings it up to the bit that, well, people can inhabit it. Now, your encounters here are all Electro-type Pokemon. Um, and be careful too. Uh, oh, Protect, level a TM-17. Um, do be careful here because some of these Pokeballs are not actually Pokemon. I mean, are not actually items. They're Pokeball. Makes you be Pokemon. Um, and it's probably the first time and the only time in the series you can encounter. No, it's one of the few times in the series you can encounter Electro. Or this here, I believe, is yeah, is Electro. It's just off that noise there. Back to Pokemon in Kanto region. Electro. Um, really cool Pokemon. Good can also do that. Uh, self destruct. Oh, thank God we survived it. I think they changed the algorithm for self destruct too. Where self destruct is supposed to bypass your your defenses, and you're supposed to hang on for your dear life. Why is it on you? Anyway, yeah. Um. But yeah, that was our um, one of our mini encounters here. Uh, Pikachu, Magnemite, Magneton, Voltorb, Electrode, and if you're playing Fire Red, um, TM Thunder. Let's go. One of the strongest electric type moves in the game, and we'll be seeing it very shortly. Um, but yeah. That was Electrode. Um, Thunderstone. Like I said, you can find your evolution spells coming to the different types here. Um, even though Articuno is not ice, it's, I mean, water is ice, but Sifo Mylings is full of water type Pokemon and is an area of water. So, that is a thing. Oh, uh, the strong Electrode. Sonic Boom! A signature move for, um, Electro. It's one of those. Ooh, and there's Spark. Finally, someone's using Spark. Uh, Spark is a normal, an electric type move that is more physical. Um, if anything, the ability. Ooh, nice. We even got Static off. Uh, we're gonna catch this Electro, cause why not? Um, great one. And all I know. Oh, you're wasting Pokeballs. You should be saving those. I have face things. Um, I actually just want to catch this electrode because I don't want to lose out to an electrode. Um, if I can catch it now. Because Rollout, Spark, yeah, those are all good moves you can have on an electrode. Too bad you have to do a lot of bullshit just to get electro evolution from Voltorb, which I think is at level 30. So, Pokedex Entry, Electro, the ball Pokemon, it stores electrical energy uh, under the very high under very high pressure, it often explodes with little or no pro, uh, provocation. So yeah, these things can explode and give no fucks to doing it. So, um, I'm gonna kill Raichu back up. Alright. And uh, yeah, we should just leave and go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, I don't want to lose my progress. So, I think there's only one more area left to go before we encounter the legendary Pokemon of Electricity here in the Kanto region, Zapdos. Oh, thinking of which? There he is. Alright, so we're going to save here. And as you see, yeah, there's an exit to our left. Um, that exit leads us to the back, and I do believe there's nothing there. In Gen 4, in um hard gold soul silver um there is a reason for that being there you can talk to lieutenant surge who's here helping the power plant um after you guys help after you helped um fix it and he and his right you will take a picture with you here in the camp i mean we'll take a picture with you mm. all right Hmm. Now it's time to talk to the electric bird of thunder. That goes. So that goes level 50. Electric slime type. Giving it its first unit immunity to its 
one of his two weaknesses, which is um its weakness to ground type, because you know electric electric types are all weak to ground. It's their only weakness. So because he's dual type, they decided to give it um Zactus a weakness to ice and rock. Because they didn't want that to get off easy. Um, so, that was in Japanese, uh, known as um, Volt. Yeah, Volt. And then that's it was supposed And Volt here is actually a Pokemon I use in my Let's Play of Pokemon um, Leaf Green and Fire Red, which I don't regret it because I did need an electric type. I wasn't going to do bullshit with Raichu. And I think mean, just looking at it now, I'm still glad that I did it. I just wish I didn't delete it. And I could have moved it to like Dark Eye Channel and just had it there. But if these happen, it's okay. Excuse me. And shit. Now we're really gonna have it. Um, Zato's electric move shouldn't just be Thunder Wave. It, she, Zato should have Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Agility, and Drill Pack. I don't know why. Oh, it has D-Tech, not Drill Pack. So its defensive move is D-Tech. A fighting type move by PP and allows you to deflect any attack that your opponent sends at you. Um, while Moltres, not Moltres, while Articuno has missed, um, Zapdos is going to survive with this move. It's very cool. There's Joe Pack. I was waiting for it. Um, very strong, uh, flying type move, uh, that Zapdos can learn. Um, it's probably one of the rare cases where you'll see a flying type move on one of the legendary birds. Because I think they try Sky Attack as well. And sky attack is trash. Lightly TM duplication is a thing, so you can try teaching them moves like I don't know, Aerial Ace, which is way better. Or uh, even then though even though drill pack is stronger, Aerial Ace is just a way better move than Sky Attack. Um I think earlier Jen just tried to give him wing attack too. Uh I think one of them was supposed to learn supposed to have no wing attack. And you're about to die. Huh? Yeah, one of them was supposed to learn Wing Attack. The others were supposed to have Drill Pack and Sky Attack. So each of the respective birds would have their own I think it was Articuno was supposed to have Sky Attack. Zapdos has Drill Pack. And Moltres has Wing Attack. Um, these are ways to try to cover some offensive, defensive stuff that was going on with them. Um, but... Yeah, this is basically what we're going to be doing at this point. Just trying to chuck Pokeballs at that base. Because I think before we go to the Savvy Islands, we're going to be running into more trainers. So we can double our money. Oh, I was actually going to be really happy if we caught the Zapdos. Great Ball. Because I have to chuck Great Balls at it because I don't want to waste up my uh, Ultra Balls. Um, they all share the same catch rate. I think it's like a 5% catch rate. So, yeah. Don't do too long of things that are to happen. Um. The only thing I don't want to happen is it struggles itself to death. Um, because struggle is a thing. And... Um, this game because I'm playing this I'm playing Leaf Green Fire Red um like on my phone through emulator. And one thing they can do is they can struggle and they will struggle. And that's why I was hoping when Joe Pack hit me, that those would be paralyzed because that doesn't have the immunities as Gen 6 that those in armor does where they start getting me to where electric Pokemon can be paralyzed. Um, powders won't work on grass types. Fire Pokemon can't be burned. Ice types can't be frozen. Um, I think even water types. No, no, because Skull. Because Skull can still burn water Pokemon. They, they figured that one. 
Uh, God, I love Skull. Skull is an amazing movie uh, from Gen 5. Um, oh, such a good movie. And I don't know how we're going to... I gotta go get an emulator for Gen 5. Um, so we can emulate Gen 5. Hit the paralysis. Hit the paralysis. God damn. Um... I know people are going to ask that question. Are we going to move on to Gen 4 and stuff? Yeah, I mean, if I can find the proper emulator, I will emulate Generation 5. On Generation 4 games and Generation 5. Um, for Gen 4, I'll do Platinum. For Gen 5, for Gen 4 Part 2, or I guess Part 3, if you will, that's, um, Leaf Green. No, that's Hard Gold Soul Silver. I will. Maybe attempt? Uh, I'll do Soul Silver. Because Soul Silver is Starberry. Um, I left my still chicken. So, uh, I'm definitely going to do that over. What, what's the odds in that game? Uh, I don't get Moltres? Or, no. Hmm. Finally, the static kicked in. Um, I don't get, um, I don't get certain exclusive Pokemon from the split. So I think in that game, oh, yeah, because they'll want me to do, like, here and there crap. Um, I don't get, uh, I think I get Groudon, but I don't get Kyogre, and I need both to get Rayquaza. Yeah, this is why I'm just going to stick to what I can do with the games, because the other games require you to have the GBA games in your slots, and then you have to be able um, to fuck you to get um, those particular Pokemon from the other region. Um, like, you need an event item to get to Shoujo Falls um, to get you the access to um, catching one of the legendaries from the Sinnoh region. But you need all three in order to encounter Arceus in that game. Yeah. It's dumb. Um, I don't even need encounter Arceus. No, I think you need Pumpkin and Diablo in order to get Garantina um, in Gen 3. I mean, Gen, for Gen 2. For Hargold Souls over. Um, or is that a case? You might as well just go get platinum and just move them over. Or you didn't do action replay goes. That helps. Um, I'm trying to think. And then there's like version exclusive and stuff like that, but I really don't care too much. Because I, I want Scar Marine over everything. Um, I'm about to run out of Great Balls. Yeah, so if we run out of Ultra Balls and Pokeballs, Balls, then I'm just going to restart the... Uh, what's the name? The only thing that I have to worry about is that this is struggle could kick in. And I don't know how much. I know Thunder Wave is like 20. But I'm already fucking paralyzed. Which that doesn't matter either. It's kind of one of the things off of the Pokemon and Digimon that I have to honestly say because I'm going to bring up that. Um, Digimon handles this way better. Like when encountered as a is that the Digimon will have a basic attack, but then they'll also have, like, their own, um, signature attacks or attacks of different specialties and properties that will help that po help that Digimon. Where here in Pokemon, you just have to hope you have enough PP till you struggle. Stay in a damn ball, giant electric... Birdie. Um, we also have to mention that the Gala region has their own bird trio of Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. While here, the trio is Electric, Ice, and Flying, I mean, Electric, Ice, and Fire. Um, in the Gala region, there are Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, which you encounter in the Winter Tundra. Um, are not what they are here. We have, I know one is fighting, one is dark, and one is psychic. 
I think it's Articuno, Psychic, Moltres, Dark, and Shadows. Our buddy here. But fuck you. Fuck you. You did that on purpose. You should have stayed in the fucking ball. Ugh. Not even Pokeball. Uh, so yeah, um, I think Zathos is the fighting type, so he counters Moltres, but Articuno counters him. Uh, Moltres loses to... Moltres beats Articuno because it's psychic, and Articuno beats Zathos because it's, it's psychic against fighting. Um, the other thing I wanted to note is that their shiny forms which you could have gotten if you did like special training, special tournament events um, via Wi-Fi was that um, you could trade, you could get the Pokemon and then they would be basically their Kanto forms in their shiny form. So the blue, the look that each of them hold here is what their Galarian form hold as their shiny forms. And then I believe I don't know what their shinies are supposed to be here in the Kanto region. I'm not looking at it either, right? I, I, I think it's probably just parallel to what they look like here, <laughs> which actually would make sense because I think that's what inspired their look in um in the Gala region. So it actually wouldn't be too different if it was just palette swaps, because if it was just reverse palette swaps, then that's the thing. But that makes more sense. I have to sneeze. Can't escape. <laughs> oh. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I got it on my table. Oh. Ew. Yeah, I've also been running a cold. Um, recently. So, don't judge me. Um, hold on one second. Once we run out of pop walk, I gotta do a restart of this. I'm gonna mute myself for just a second. Just a second, I need to and turn on my um, uh, what is that I wanted to turn on? Uh, I might go ahead and turn back on my uh, heater. It's like 49 degrees out here. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, thank god, it used to take. I didn't realize I was that red. Um, oh, my alarm went off for dinner. Or to let me know, hey, it's after six o'clock. You need to go. You need to make sure you eat before nine. I need to put an alarm to say, hey, it's nine o'clock. You need to like not eat anything. Um, how many more Pokeballs we got left? Four. Okay. Um, is something wrong with my internet? I hope not. Oh, did my stream freeze? Oh, I hope not. Uh oh. Because it says it's reconnecting. Oh boy. Please not tell me I'm having internet problems. Cause I'm gonna be so pissed from having internet problems. Okay, so it's refreshing. Just hit the refresh everybody and it should work. Cause I don't know what just happened. Maybe it was just some issues. Um on that end. I shouldn't be offline, I should still be on. Hell I've only been on for an hour.
Cause it's saying I'm offline. I shouldn't be offline. I should be on. Did it kick me out the server? Oh my god, it did. Oh. Hold on.